Yo, what is up guys, Nick here, and today we're going to be talking about something that's not discussed all that often, and that's whether or not you should buy an instant print camera. First things first, no, you don't need one, but you can buy one, and there's a lot of you out there that are probably laughing right now. Why would you want an instant print camera? However, there is a good amount of people that are also really interested in these, but they're for a very specific individual. My own Charlie. Would you want to miss this picture because you didn't have a flash? With the Kodak Colorburst 250, you never will, because the flash is built right in. Wow, look at those cheeks. All right, so these things. Instant print cameras. They're cool, I'll admit it. They're pretty fun. And there's something about taking a physical photo and holding it in your hand that you really can't get across when you're looking through a screen. There's more to sharing a photo than just posting it on Instagram. It's about sharing and telling the story to the person sitting next to you, because you can hold that photo in front of you, point out specific things. Realistically, these things are to share memories. And after using one of these for quite some time now, I started to realize something. I was focusing on the photos I'm taking so much more, because just like film cameras, you only have a finite amount of photos you can take. Whereas on digital, you're like Ch -ch 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 -ch, spamming that shutter button until you get the photo you want. But with these, you're gonna be having to think about composition, colors, lighting, everything in camera because what you take is what you get. It prints right out the side. I mean, yeah, you can apply some filters and stuff like that, but I don't think that's really what this thing is for. There's no fixing it in post with this thing. And that's something I've actually grown to love because you're spending your time experiencing the moment rather than taking photos of the moment. I see so many people going out and traveling to amazing places and taking photos literally the entire time. Sure, if you're a photographer, I'm a photographer, that's great, but don't you wanna experience that at least somewhat, not through a camera lens? I don't know, that's just my personal opinion, but I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys think. So, instant print cameras. They have their benefits and they definitely have their drawbacks, but who exactly are these things for? I think they're for a very specific kind of person. And my first thought was maybe it's for kids. They're simple and easy to use. There's no digital mess or anything like that. They click the photo and it takes it. It's as simple as that. But then I began to think, okay, you only have a limited amount of prints. I could see them running through a lot of these very quickly. So no, kids are out of the question. Or maybe it's for those grandpas and grandmas that refuse to get a smartphone. I know there are plenty of them out there that still use the flip out phone. And I think those people are entirely possible, but I don't think very likely. I think instant print cameras are for a very specific kind of person. I think instant cameras are for hipsters. They're for the people looking for that nostalgic analog feel, but without the hassle of film, because you don't have to go and develop it, you don't have to mess up the settings or anything like that. You take the photo and it prints it. It's as simple as that. It's really kind of for those people that are looking to buy a hardcover book versus an ebook, or the people that listen to record players versus digital audio. And I'm not trying to put a negative spin on this because hipsters, they can be pretty badass sometimes. I'm gonna be honest. But I think it's for those people. I can see some creatives turning an entire wall into this photo memory wall where they have each and every shot being an experience. That would be so cool. Imagine the conversations you would have with someone next to you, you going through and pointing out all your memories. That would be so amazing. But for me personally, do I see myself using an instant print camera from here on out and in the future? The answer is no. Why? Well, because minimalism. That's why. Now, obviously that was a joke, but the real reason why I can't see myself using an instant print camera is because I'd end up breaking the prints or damaging them or losing them. It's just not something that I would be able to do myself. I think it's much easier to store them in the cloud digitally on Google Photos. But if you're one of those people that love these things, go for it, that's awesome. Enjoy it, have fun with it. Now, if you're in the market for picking up an instant print camera, I think the Kodak Mini Shot is genuinely a good option. I'll have links down in the description below if you're looking to buy one for yourself. I'm not being paid or sponsored to say any of this, guys. I think this thing is pretty cool. It's a nice camera. And if I was looking to pick up an instant print camera, it would definitely be on my list. I really like this camera specifically because it has a digital viewfinder. So that means what you're seeing on screen is what you're getting. You don't have to deal with the crappy optical viewfinders where they're not exactly lined up or 
the composition isn't correct, I think it's really nice to have the reassurance that what you're seeing on screen is what is printing out the side. So that's nice there. Using it is so easy. You just have to press the power button when you're ready, click the shutter down, click print, and you're done. It's really as simple as that. A couple of other features include bordered or borderless printing. Myself, I personally like the bordered printing because it adds this white frame around your image, kind of gives it that vintage look. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Um, also, you have Bluetooth connectivity to your phone, uh, so where you can share and save your photos. Also, you have filters on here so you can change the look from monochrome to fancy colors and stuff. I don't know what I think about that myself. Yes, I think it's cool they added the features if people want to use them, but I think it kind of defeats the purpose of an instant print camera since it's just supposed to click the photo and print. I don't know what I think about adding effects. I mean, again, it's cool they added it. Yes, that's nice. Um, changing out the cartridges are super easy. You open up the back like this and it just slides out. Um, each and every one of these cartridges have 10 photos in them. You can buy them in like packs of 20 to 50 or something. And they have the ink and everything on here. So if you want to swap it out, you grab your new one, slide it in here like so. And it's as simple as that. You have 10 new photos in here. Um, it's really nice because those photos are laminated. So that means they're fingerprint proof and they're waterproof. So for people like me, they're a little bit more durable. I think that's really nice because a lot of pictures I see are scratched or messed up. You don't want that. You want your photos looking nice and clean. But that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Kodak Mini Shot. It's a nice little instant print camera, but if you guys want to pick it up, links will be down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see all you guys in the next one. Peace! Kodak's got the instant camera you've been waiting for. Instant color photographs, that's what the handle's for. So carry on. Carry on. Let yourself go. Let yourself go. Grab onto the handle at a low, low price for dry, self-timing color pictures that happen in minutes, right before your eyes. Grab onto the handle and carry on. Carry on. The handle. Kodak's newest and lowest-priced instant camera.